Leadership is based on a spiritual quality, the power to inspire, the power to inspire others to follow. Vince Lombardi. Leading with spirit. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and first-time viewers, I want to challenge you to view your life through a leadership lens, to view the circumstances and situations of your life where you have the opportunity to lead. Did you lead with spirit? Webster defines spirit as a vital principle or animating force. The emotional state where vigor, courage, and determination are part of that. The seat of emotions, the soul. Vigor, courage, determination, soul, that's leading with spirit. In the book, The Leadership Challenge, James Cousins and Barry Posner describe four principles of empowering leadership and exemplary leadership. These principles are model the way, inspire a shared vision, challenge the process, and enable others to act. Model the way. Live the values. Walk the talk. Instead of the values being what's on the wall or what's on the website, learn what employees care about and bring that into the organizational culture. Model the way. People first follow the leader, then they follow the plan. Inspire a shared vision. Organizations start as dreams. Think of Walt Disney. Think of Chip Conley, the San Francisco hotel entrepreneur who started Joie de Viva Hotels. Think of Steve Jobs. With a dream, with a vision, these men and leaders built great organizations. Picture the results that you want at the end before you build the organization, the team, the community. Challenge the process. Sam Walton started Walmart in 1962 in Rogers, Arkansas, a town of 5,000 people. He challenged the process. He challenged the retail paradigm by thinking, we can have a large discount retailer in a rural community. 14 years later, Walmart was worth $176 million. He challenged the process. Enable others to act. Leadership is a team sport. Leadership demands that you bring the organization together in teaming, in empowering individuals, and allowing them to share your dream, to share your vision, and build on it. I've worked in many organizations where the team element really carried the mission forward and really allowed us to be uh, leading and being led by a leader of spirit. The anecdote I'd like to share with you is about one of the first leaders that I met who really embodied these principles, the vigor, the determination, the courage, and the soul. And that was my high school English teacher, Mrs. Edelman. Uh, I was in an honors English class, transferred from a larger New England high school to a small beach town high school where I was lost. I didn't know anyone uh, but the few people I'd met that summer. Mrs. Edelman inspired all of us to be the best we could be. She modeled the creative, intellectual, reader, and lover of literature, and really led the way for us to achieve the best we could, not only in her class, but ongoing. She inspired us with her love of literature and how to write well, our papers, our critiques, and she enabled us in the classroom to share those ideas and to challenge each other. She challenged the process for me when she asked me to give a speech in front of the entire student body, something that I hope 
I think shaped me to this day. When I heard that applause and got the laughter from my speech, I was hooked. That really has inspired me to continue to do public speaking and lead workshops. Think about how you might lead a community, a team, a group, or your Toastmasters club. Leaders are dealers in hope. I hope that I've inspired you to be this kind of leader.